Hello, this is Max. Today, a story about a mermaid who fell in love with a human. You can subscribe to the channel after watching. It helps us a lot in realizing the content. The movie commences during the 1980s, featuring three individuals who make up a rock band known as Figs and Dates. They unwind and create music on a Polish beach, while the bass player strums his guitar and sings, the female lead singer and the male drummer smoke and dance around a land barrel. A short distance from the shore, a blonde mermaid emerges from the water to observe the trio's playful performance. Shortly after, her dark-haired sister joins her to watch. The blonde mermaid becomes captivated by the trio's activities. After the bass player finishes his song, the two mermaids start singing, casting an enchanting spell over the bassist and drummer. These two musicians motion towards the ocean where the mermaids are, and the blonde mermaid extends her arms as they sing. The men draw near, reaching out their arms as well, seemingly attempting to connect with the two mermaids. Suddenly, the lead singer lets out a scream of horror upon spotting the mermaids by the sea, leading to a moment of panic. Before long, Figs and Dates perform at their regular gig in a nightclub owned by an elderly manager. As the lead singer performs, the manager watches and greets the usual customers. Detecting an unfamiliar rotor, he investigates and inquires with their security guard, who is suffering from a cold and can't smell anything. The manager instructs the guard to stay home and not spread the cold. As the guard nods in agreement, the manager scans the club and heads to the kitchen. He questions the cook about the peculiar smell. The cook, dancing along with the music, informs the manager that they are cooking and therefore unaware of the source of the smell. As the manager departs, the kitchen staff continues to dance merrily. Upon entering the dressing rooms, the manager encounters two waiters who are also dancing to the rhythm. He then proceeds to the band's dressing room, hearing laughter from inside. Unable to open the locked door, he uses his keys, revealing the transformation of the two mermaids into regular girls. Following the band's performance, the lead singer introduces the two girls as her friend's kids. The elderly house manager expresses concern due to the nightclub's liquor license and adult entertainment, believing that two young girls should not be in such a place. He stresses that the room is exclusively for authorized staff members. The drummer instructs the bassist and the lead singer to exit the room, sniffing out his cigarette as they depart. With the others gone, the drummer offers a seat to the manager and directs the two girls to remove their clothing. However, a distinctive aspect sets these girls apart from regular females, the absence of their genitals. Their appearance is as smooth and featureless as Barbie dolls. The two girls gaze at the manager while the drummer fetches a glass of water. He pours the water onto their legs prompting a transformation in their lower extremities, which gradually take on the form of tails. The manager is astonished by this change and questions if what he's witnessing is real. Afterward, in the nightclub's lounge, the nightclub singer and the bassist step out from backstage to observe a contortionist's performance. Meanwhile, the manager inquires from the two mermaids how they acquired the ability to speak Polish. The dark-haired mermaids explain that they learned the language while at a beach in Bulgaria. Soon after, Figs and Dates performs another song while another woman takes the stage. The boss signals for the lead singer to come to him. Rushing to the room, the band discovers the two mermaids in a somewhat unconscious and dehydrated state due to being out of the water for too long. The lead singer attempts to splash water on them to revive them, but her efforts prove ineffective. The manager comes up with a solution and brings the mermaids to a pool. As their bodies touch the water, they regain consciousness and begin swimming around. Following this, the mermaids revert to their human forms. The manager offers them breadsticks, and they introduce themselves. The dark-haired mermaid is called Golden, while her blonde sister is named Silver. The manager instructs the lead singer to take them to the mall for shopping. During their mall outing, they perform a musical number, singing about various things they observe in the city. The people around them join in the dance as they try on new clothes and shoes. That night, in the backstage room, Golden watches as the bassist tries to get close to Silver. Golden communicates with Silver telepathically, inquiring if she wants to spend time there before they go to America. Silver agrees. Golden then poses a question about what would happen if Silver were to fall in love and if she would consume the man if that occurred. Silver remains silent and smiles. 
they change into costumes, with the lead singer dressed as a blue captain while the two girls wear red flight attendant suits that sip up in the front. They make their way to the stage, with the manager holding onto each member's waist for good luck. Golden avoids this touch and does not want to be touched. The manager introduces the two girls to the crowd, who warmly welcomes them with applause. The girls sing back up and dance to the beat. Later, they strip down and enter a giant bowl filled with water, their lower extremities transforming into tails as the crowd cheers in amazement. They continue singing, and the audience claps in fascination. After their performance, Silver kisses the bassist, causing Golden to become worried. The lead singer kisses the two girls as a gesture of approval, all while smoking a cigarette. Silver smiles, but Golden simply walks away. At one point, Golden visits a bar and meets a patron. He signals to her, and she follows him, but the bouncer intervenes, mentioning that he's still hung up on her. Golden confesses her love to the man, but acknowledges that she shouldn't be sharing such feelings with anyone. Subsequently, she heads to the bar patron's car, and they leave together. Meanwhile, Silver searches for her sister around a dimly lit area in the nightclub. She explores different doors, calling out for her sister. At the end of the hallway, she discovers a locked room. Curious, she peeks through the keyhole and witnesses the lead singer engaged in a closeness with a man. Shocked by what she sees, Silver quickly leaves. Meanwhile, the car of the bar patron is parked near the sea. Golden transforms into a mermaid and brutally eliminates him. She then crawls back to the water. Back at the nightclub, Silver calls the bassist, who introduces himself as Meetak. She leads him to a bathroom with a bathtub, where she transforms into a mermaid while in the water. She urges him to have intercourse with her, but Meetek refuses, stating that he only sees Silver as a fish, not a woman. Silver removes a scale from her tail and offers it to Meetek, promising that he will become the world's first four-handed bass player if he accepts. Meetek reaches for the scale, and Silver asks for a kiss first. After the kiss, Silver starts singing, luring Meetek closer. She sings to the bottom of the tub, and as Meetek dips his head in the water, they find themselves in a larger body of water and they're getting closer. Later, they return backstage, both soaked. People had been searching for Meetek everywhere. Silver finds Golden and notices blood on her sister's lip. Golden explains it away as having come from a cow. The mermaids eventually become their own act, performing with a band backing them. The nightclub audience cheers for their captivating performance. Afterward, they meet the head of entertainment, who congratulates them. Golden encounters Triton, another sea creature and singer of a metal band. He warns her that if her sister falls in love and the love interest marries someone else, Silver will turn into sea foam. Removing her tail will result in losing her voice. Golden leaves Triton and encounters a female detective investigating the bar patron's murder. The detective takes Golden to her home, where they have a close encounter. When Golden's victim is discovered, the sisters fight in their room. A childhood song sung by Golden helps them quickly reconcile. However, a confrontation ensues with the drummer, leading to a dramatic event where it appears that both mermaids die. The band members wrap the mermaids' bodies in carpets and throw them into a river. Astonishingly, the mermaids return to the club alive. The band apologizes, but Golden isn't angry. She's taking away the drummer's finger as a warning for him to never cross them again. The following day, the band has a photo shoot at the nightclub. The mermaid sisters, Golden and Silver, communicate telepathically. Golden warns Silver about the consequences of getting her tail cut and losing her voice. Silver dismisses it as superstition and warns her sister that if Golden tries to stop her, she will cut off all communication. That night, Silver decides to have her tail surgically replaced with a pair of legs in an attempt to make Meetek reciprocate her feelings. However, this drastic choice results in her losing her singing voice. The next morning, Silver attempts to be converged with Meetek using her new legs, but he becomes disgusted when he gets blood on him from her surgery scars. At the nightclub, the manager informs the band that Golden will be singing solo, but she refuses to do so. Meetek meets a woman in a recording studio, and they become closeness. Meetek drops the mermaid scale he carried on the floor, allowing it to wash away in the water, symbolizing his departure from their world. Meetek marries the woman he met, and the sisters attend the wedding reception. Golden and Triton warn Silver that she must consume Meetek before daybreak, 
or she'll transform into sea foam. As morning arrives, Silver dances with Mitek, golden watches, hoping her sister will fulfill the warning. However, Silver cannot bring herself to harm him. Ultimately, she turns into sea foam in Mitek's arms as the sun rises. The movie concludes with a distressed Golden, who leaps onto a baffled Mitek covered in sea foam. The scene is witnessed by the entire wedding party, who see Golden's face covered in blood as she returns to the ocean. If you are interested in such films, please proceed to the next video on the screen and also share your thoughts about this film in the comments. Give us a like and subscribe. Goodbye.